Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. This is week 12. So today marks 12 weeks of me documenting my health weight loss journey on YouTube and week six of me doing keto. So overall, this week was actually pretty good. I stuck to my plan. I did not eat anything that was not keto friendly, though there was a moment when I was severely tempted. This box of Cheez-Its has been in the kitchen ever since I moved in. And on Sunday evening, the temptation was so strong. I did take down the box of Cheez-Its and almost open it and then put it back. What was going on in my head that allowed me to put the Cheez-Its back on the shelf and not open them? So right when I took down the Cheez-Its and I was, you know, that moment when I was about to open them, I said to myself, stop, take a second, reflect. Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to eat these carbs? These are bad carbs. These are not paleo friendly carbs. These are not complex. These are Cheez-Its. They're simple. My next thought was, you know what? If you really, really still have this craving, the next day, I will allow you to open up that box and you can eat all the cheeses you want. But for today, put it back on the shelf and see what happens tomorrow. Happy to say that those cheeses are still closed. So giving myself that moment to reflect and think through what it was I was doing was very helpful. And then also, again, sort of tricking myself into thinking, all right, if you really desperately need these Cheez-Its and the cravings are still there tomorrow, then you're allowed to eat some Cheez-Its the next day. And then that made them less tempting. It's all psychological. I've been saying that from the beginning, weight loss is very mental, emotional, and physical, of course, but these other aspects of it, I think are a little bit more challenging to tackle and remind ourselves that they exist. Another thing that happened this week was I ordered these keto cupcakes from this company called Sweet Keto Bakery. I was skeptical. I was like, there's no way these are gonna taste like cupcakes. But as you can see, they look delicious. I got German chocolate. It's one of my favorite flavors in terms of cupcakes, aside from birthday cake flavor. And I also got some candied pecans. So for one cupcake, they claimed it was 2.8 carbs. I made sure to test my ketones before the cupcake and then 24 hours after eating the cupcake, I was still deep in ketosis. So I believed them. So I uh, decided to reach out to the bakery and, and I told them, I said, hey, by the way, I love your product. I'm on YouTube. I just hit 500 subscribers. Could I give my followers a discount, a promo code? You know how the kids do it, the influencers. So they emailed me back and said, sure, you can give them a code. So I have a code for you. I'm gonna put it down here. It'll also be linked down below. You can get 50% off your order if you use that code. I get nothing. I have no clue what I'm doing. I get nothing. I This is literally free advertising for them. I didn't get a discount. I guess I could use the discount myself. Um, it's a one-time discount. I just don't think that I'm somebody yet, <laughs> you know? For those of you who watch my channel, if you're a bigger YouTuber uh, and you've, you have better tips for how to actually like get a percentage of the profit or the proceeds or however that works, I don't feel like I'm being taken advantage of. I loved these keto cupcakes so much that I'm willing to just give them a free advertisement. So go check them out. So delicious. If you have a birthday coming up and you're doing keto, you guys got to try these cupcakes. And 50% off is a huge discount. So as you guys know, I signed up for a 50 mile bike ride thing. I'm having doubts about this, you guys. I should have just signed up for 30, but because I already did 30, I thought, okay, you have to challenge yourself. So you have to do 50, but I'm having my doubts because I'm kind of being realistic now and looking over my stats for how many miles a week I'm actually logging. So I use map my ride. So from Tuesday to Tuesday, July 24th, I guess I only rode on the weekends too, which is weird because in my mind, I rode every day. This is why it's important to track. It's important to track your calories, your carbs, your exercise. The mind plays tricks on us. So July 24th, I did 10.94 miles. 
I thought I would try to hit 10 to 15 each day, so keep that in mind. The next day was a big bike day. I went on a solo ride and did 17.84 miles, and then I went out again with my friend and did 9.04 miles. So that day was, I got a lot of miles out of that day. Very sore. July 26th, I, I did 10.39 miles. So Monday, it was pouring rain, so I didn't get a chance to actually ride my bike, which means for the week, I did 48.18 miles, which is half of the amount that I said that I was gonna do. So I think I need to be more committed to this if I'm really seriously thinking about doing 50 miles. And this means doing 10 to 15 mile bike rides every chance I can get. I'm gonna try and do that this week, and hopefully next week I at least do more than 50 miles for the week. Okay, so let's get into the numbers. So this week, as you can see, I actually gained 0.2 pounds. Saw that number on the scale, depressed, sad. Then I decided to take my measurements. So here are my measurements from July 14th, which is exactly two weeks ago. Today, my hips, I measured at 43.8, my waist, I measured at 34.4. My left thigh is 23.5. My right thigh, also 23.5. Left bicep, 11.5. Right bicep, 11.7. So that means that in the last two weeks, I lost 0.2 inches off my hips, nothing off my waist, 0.2 inches off my left thigh, 0.2 inches off my right thigh, nothing on the left bicep and 0.3 inches on my right bicep. In total, that's 0.9 inches overall. Now what's interesting here is that even though I went up 0.2 pounds, I still lost inches, 0.9. Yeah, so, so you can see that even though I'm actually up 0.2 pounds, I'm down in terms of the total inches lost. So, I mean, logically speaking, that means that I am burning fat and I'm either retaining muscle or I'm gaining muscle. Makes sense with the bike rides, it makes sense. There's a lot of hills that I've been finding, so my leg muscles might be, you know, muscly. I, I don't know, you know. But at the same time, while I'm happy with this progress, it's nice and slow, I am contemplating the idea of intermittent fasting. A lot of you guys who follow me do this and you're very successful with it. In particular, I was watching Beatrice Caruso's video, which I'll link down below in case you haven't seen it, but chances are you know who this is. I was watching her video and she did her fasting from 12 to 8 and this was back in May. This is the video from May. And I thought, okay, that's a, that's a, that's a good time frame for me. My biggest issue is trying to prevent myself from snacking at night. For those of you who do intermittent fasting, I would love to know what your time window is, how you got through the first couple of days perhaps, and just if it's worth it, if it's worth trying, just to accelerate my weight loss a bit. I'm of two minds right now. On the one hand, I'm like really happy that I'm still losing inches because that's what counts. On the other hand, I really want to see 160s like so badly. It's been a while since I've seen like 169 and I really want to, you know, share that with you guys. So yeah, that, that's my game plan I think for this week is definitely up my miles in biking stick to my keto plan and prepare for August, which is right around the corner. All right, well, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next week for another update video.